let's go over <clears throat> the stuff that was done today for the evepvpguild.com market tools. So once you're logged in, you can click the refresh button. I've already done this once, so I'm not going to do it again because it takes about four seconds. Um, <clears throat> I've searched for uh, export profit, so uh, this would be the profit that you could get for buying stuff in, in Delve and then selling it to Jita or you know exporting it out of Delve. So written for goons. <clears throat> so one of the things that I did add though today was the market history tab, which is over here. Um, and then I've added these little buttons of history links. Um, one of the things that I was looking at is the, <clears throat> the Corpus C type armor thermal hardener. And it says that, hey, you can right now purchase this for $35 million and sell it for a bill, right? One billion isk. Um, so to, before you would go and buy this and export this and expect to make, you know, $964 million minus whatever taxes and how much it costs you to actually, you know, transport this, um, you can click on the History tab now. And the History tab is going to bring in the history for a year of the orders for Jita and then uh, Delve. Uh, that is public data. <clears throat> so um, that doesn't include like contracts or anything like that. Um, but you can see that on February 22nd, uh, <clears throat> there were two order order count sold. Um, the highest was 35 million, almost 36 million. And the lowest was uh, 35 million. Uh, million so it's actually the same price um <clears throat> we can then also see that the other time was february 12th so one was sold on february 12th for 30 million another one was our two of them were sold um for 35 million uh in delve and then we can come over here and say okay well let's dig into this and see that oh hey the last one yesterday march 4th there were orders, so since this is so much data across the span of a year, um, we can then use this bar up here to zoom in and get a better view of maybe maybe the from January 21st uh, to today. So we can see now that they're selling one sold on March 1st today uh, for 14 million, and then the last one of these sold uh, in Delve was February 22nd. So if you did pull the trigger on this, it probably wouldn't be a good buy, plus you would lose money uh, because their actual history is that on the 2nd, they were going for 37 million. The highest went for 59 million. The lowest went for 40, 14 million. Um, that you, you're probably going to lose money on this. And then one went for 30, 30 million, and then the other one went for 14 today. So tools like this is going to allow you to make better decisions, uh, especially if you're like me and you're new and you don't know uh, a whole lot about what's going on uh, as far as what to buy, what not to buy. Uh, but <clears throat> you can also come in and see that, you know, for the history of a Nix. Um, there's there's not a lot going on here um, over the span of time because I mean you can't fly them in high sec anyway so I don't even know how they got them into Jita um, that's how noob I am but we can see that in Delve in the last uh, February twenty second and February twenty third somebody got a good deal two days in a row and bought those for almost ten million or ten billion then it went for uh, February 22nd was sold in Jita, one of them, uh, for $25 um, billion. So that would be a good turnaround if you made that purchase and then made that sell right there. But you can see that there's not a lot of history here for those, those recipes uh, or items being sold. So let's say that I wanted to come in here and just go for something like a Praetor. If I can spell... No, I can't spell pray. Sure. Okay, so we can see that, you know, for the history of, let's say, the Praetor 2s, um, 
it's a pretty consistent market, right? You're not going to make any money off this, though. I've already looked at it. Um, they're, they're going pretty much the same. But you can see that there's 180 sold on this day on February 27th. Um, and there was a total volume of 2,221 total in those. And so the lowest went for 1, 1. 1.5 million. The highest one went for 1.7 million. Um, but, but this is just an example of coming in and actually seeing real data um, and then being able to analyze that, see where the market's going. And so you can see here, you know, it's, it's very easy to see that there was a dip right there. Uh, on December 16th in Dell. For whatever reason, maybe people, you know, went on break or something like that and they weren't selling and somebody just said, hey, I want to liquidate this stuff. Um, but this is going to help out a ton in making uh, decisions on what you want to actually purchase um, and sell. And if it's a good idea or not, or if it's going to be pretty high risk or not, based on the volume that are being sold every day, um, the next things that are going to be coming out with this, uh, would be being able to <clears throat> do a source and destination. So let's say I want to take something from Jita and I want to take it to somewhere else like the Mimitar space. Uh, we are getting set up, uh, and I am building tools to allow you to, uh, be able to find some better market deals in those other markets instead of just saying, hey, I want to import or export from from Jita to Delve. I'm a goon. Uh, that's what I do. Um, I'm not really interested in moving anything. I don't have a jump freighter. So uh, for me to, to care about other markets, uh, that's kind of low priority for me. So, But that is coming soon. So thank you.